Another another dad joke. There we go. I'm telling the dad jokes are how we transition, Randy. I know how to get you off the topic. <laughs> if I want to move you along, I just tell you a really bad joke. There we go. All right. Uh, so National Geographic just highlighted nine major breakthroughs from 2025, right? And I know a lot of people are expecting more next year. A couple of these are right. I'm not going to read all nine of them. I don't want to, but one of them I think is interesting. Needle-free allergy rescue for kids instead of them having to take like an EpiPen and, you know, things like that. So uh, having a needle-free rescue. Uh, it just says giant leaps in regenerative medicine. And uh, Anyway, so basically what that is, is we're moving closer and closer to regrowing human tissues. Here's one near and dear to your heart. A cure for type 1 diabetes is close. The breakthrough, new stem cell therapies such as VX-880 are successfully restoring insulin production in patients. In clinical trials, patient, patients who previously relied on daily insulin injections began producing their own insulin after receiving infusions of lab-grown pancreatic Islet cells, or however you say it. Islet cells, yeah. Islet cells, yeah. You want to talk? You it's want, super have cool. You, have you dug into this? Or, I mean, this is right in your wheelhouse. Well, we, we, we focus really on type 2, and I think one of the big misconceptions for people is that type 1 and type 2 are really similar, but they're almost exactly the opposite. Type 1, you stop producing insulin. Type 2, you're producing too much insulin. You have insulin resistance is mm. the real problem. So insulin uh, is really important for people with type 1 diabetes, and, and so that's uh, I mean, amazing, right? So the number of people with type 1 diabetes is a much smaller number than it is with type 2 diabetes, but it is an insulin-dependent you know condition in almost every case. Uh, and so... At the end of the day, that's amazing. You know, I think we're seeing some people that have, you know, juvenile onset is pretty typical for type one. 